Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of our 50 cal ballistic gel block test series. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the SmackDown 250 grain carnivore uh, tip bullet. Uh, this is a 45 uh, cal diameter bullet with a 50 caliber sabot. And uh, we're going to be running this through the, uh, the CVA Scout, I'm sorry, the CVA Wolf. And uh, ballistic chart coming up spreadsheet with all the uh, ballistics data coming up and, uh, and and lots more so uh, let's uh, let's get around here and see what's going on with the loading on this all right guys so before we take a look at that if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to share this video out to anybody there's an information tab up here that'll drop down a link to my webpage at kentuckyrangetime.com that's my affiliate partners quick shopping links and you can scroll down through 116 plus companies on there and hit that shop now button. It'll take you directly to their website where you can start your shopping. Uh, you probably already shop with uh, a dozen or more of these companies. Uh, there's some really nice companies up there uh, across all different lines of outdoors and archery and hiking and medical and first aid and holsters and gear and everything else and the other G word that I can't say on here so that uh, YouTube doesn't censor my video. Uh, but uh, go check those out. And uh, anything you purchase while you're there actually helps uh, support the page and would always appreciate that. So let's turn around here and take a look at this loading. So here's the loading on this and no big departure from my previous test. We have Winchester 209 primers, the SmackDown Carnivore uh, Ridgeback Sabots, and the Pyrodex 5050 pellets over here. And here is a good look at this bullet. And this does also appears to have a hard plastic tip. Uh, it doesn't have the holes in it. It's not near as big as the Remington tip was, but uh, this does appear to be a harder plastic versus some of the softer polymers or rubbers that you see in some of the other bullets. So, all right, let's get off to the range and see how these things do. Hey guys, my Kentucky Range Time, back at Northeast Kentucky Fishing Game with another episode of our 50 caliber muzzleloader gel block test series. And in this episode, we're gonna be looking at the SmackDown Carnivore. This is the uh, the Ridgeback Sabot. And this is a 250 grain bullet, a 45 diameter bullet with 50 cal sabo and a 250 grain a ballistic coefficient of 0.262. So uh, you don't always see ballistic coefficients on muzzleloader bullets. So that's pretty nice to have in there. And uh, test format will be a three pellet uh, charge of Pyrodex 5050, and then a two pellet charge, and then a single pellet charge. Uh, in ballistic gel block at 10 yards, uh, velocities will be coming on the Garmin Pro Zero C1. No, that's the Garmin uh, Zero Pro C1. And uh, I've also got a slow motion camera set up out there. Now, coming up after the video, we will have a ballistics chart that will take the velocity of the three pellet load uh, and put that in a range chart. And, uh, what you'll be able to do is take the velocity of the two pellet load and the single pellet load, uh, come down the line on the three pellet charge and see uh, where the velocities correspond on that chart. And then you can look at the expansion we get with the two pellet and one pellet load and know about what kind of performance you'll get with the three pellet load further down range. Also coming up will be a spreadsheet with all the ballistics data, the velocities, the penetration, the expansion, the weight retention, uh, uh, percent of expansion and all that good data uh, will be on there as well. So stay tuned at the end of the video for the spreadsheet and the ballistics chart. So uh, let's turn around here and get started. All right, guys. Garmin's set. Everything's set up. We've got a, a clean gel block out here. Uh, I did three tests in the first piece of gel block and uh, was mostly able to get the, the, the shots landing where we could still see everything pretty well. Uh, it's getting pretty cloudy by the time I got done. So uh, I've, I've swapped the gel block out now. Hopefully we can get a couple more tests out of this one. Um, all right, three pellet charge, uh, equivalent to 150 grains of loose Pyrodex. And uh, let's see what this does. smoke about got me on that one. Uh, the wind's blowing the other direction most of the morning. That's the first one that's actually come right back in my face. But 
this gel block out here, I'm telling you, uh, we got a really good look at the wound channel already, and I'm pretty sure we got a catch. So, <laughs> uh, velocity was 1,912 foot per second, and kinetic energy was uh, 2,029.8. So, uh, let's go down here and see what kind of catch we got. All right, so I'm gonna say the bungee cord did the trick this time. And uh, <laughs> that really is a good look at the wound channel though. Could torch that out. All right, let me get a layback down here and I can get a measurement on everything. All right guys, so uh, entry was right here. Uh, we had uh, expansion a little bit slower than some of the other ones we've seen. This one is about an inch and a half, two inches out before it gets fully expanded. You can see that uh, that red tip there at about two and a half inches. A few pieces of, I'm guessing that may be a little bit of lead and a little bit of uh, copper right here at, uh, at two inches and another one about four and a quarter. Uh, a, a fairly decent permanent wound channel here uh, down to about five or six inches. And then we go into straight line penetration, 14, uh, another fragment here at 14 inches. And we are sitting down here at about 20, 20 and a half inches of overall penetration. And this thing uh, looks like it flattened out very nicely. Uh, there's not a lot of fragments up there, so I'm gonna say it retained most of its weight. So uh, really nice showing out of this three pellet leg. And like I said, this is at 10 yards, guys. So, uh, you know, some of the bullets that we tested uh, last fall, uh, we're, we're kind of overdriven at 10 yards and they just basically just exploded, grenaded on the impact. Um, and uh, these, uh, these are doing a whole lot better, so. All right, guys, coming up is the, uh, the carnivore, the Smackdown Carnivore uh, Ridgeback Savit, 250 grain tip bullet, 50 cal muzzle loader. This is the two pellet load. that one pretty good. Looks like it is just above the previous load. Primer's been a little stubborn. I'll get that off camera. Okay, velocity on that shot was 1704.5 and kinetic energy of 1612.4. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, entry for this shot was right here, just above the three pellet load. And again, uh, typical expansion, wound track is almost identical, maybe maybe actually just a little bit longer uh, with this permanent wound track here, down to about nine inches. And then we go into straight line penetration. This thing starts curving up at 16 and looks like it turns backwards and sideways and cavitates here a little bit, starting at 25, 26 inches. And we've got total penetration out here of 30 and a half inches. And nice, nice mushroom on this bullet, guys, for a, a, a 100 grain charge. All right, let's go back and see what the single pellet load will do. All right, guys. The Smackdown Carnivore 250 grain ballistic tip bullet. And this will be the one pellet. 50, 50 grains of Pyrodex shot. All right, velocity of 1221 
kinetic energy of 827.4 foot per second. And uh, let's go check out this catch. I, I basically got them all stacked right above each other. So it should be some fairly good bloom tracks and it should allow me to use this block again. I'll be able to go uh, above again for the, a couple more shots and then I can go out to the left and right side without obscuring my wing track. So that makes the block go further. All right, let's go see what it did. All right, guys, some pretty impressive results out of this uh, single pellet charge. Entry was right here. And uh, here at about two and a half inches is the, uh, the tip off of this. But if you notice, it's not doing a whole lot. I don't see really any expansion down through here at all. There's some cavitation in this 12 inch mark, 12, 13, 14 inches. Uh, and then we keep kind of running right on down through here. And we are all the way down here at 42 and three quarter inches of overall penetration. And guys, other than the, the tip coming off this bullet it doesn't look like we got any expansion on this so a uh, pretty impressive uh, penetration for a single pellet for a 50 grain load 42 and three quarter inches so uh this carnivore smackdown all right guys we'll get back here so we're at uh 20 and three quarter 30 and a half and 42 and a half inches on these three loads some pretty impressive results. All right, we'll get these dug out and have a closer look here in just a second. So here's a look at the final results and uh, three pellet charge, two pellet charge, and the one pellet charge. And we really didn't get any movement at all on the one pellet. Uh, at some point it did turn sideways and the tip broke out of it, leaving a little bit of a mark on the uh, on the mouth of the, of the uh, bullet here. The two pellet, we got really nice expansion on this. Um, see here we drove probably a fourth of the way down after the nose opened up on this and then the three pellet design at 10 yards just did a phenomenal got a really nice mushroom here mushroom back almost to the uh, to the base of the bullet and unlike a lot of the other bullets we didn't get a bunch of petals wrapping around the base uh, these opened up wrapped around just a very little bit around the edge and then stayed big and wide, which is exactly what you want. The two pellet, uh, I actually think this lead chunk came off the two pellet load. So for some reason, we shed more petals um, off the two pellet than what we did off the three pellet. So uh, nice performer out of the, uh, the SmackDown Carnivore bullet. Um, velocities on these ran pretty close. Uh, I mean, all the bullets tested were between 240 and 260 grain. And uh, other than the Bear Creek ballistics, uh, most of these bullets, and it being an all copper, uh, most of these bullets tended to be right around the same velocities for uh, the three pellet, two pellet, and single pellet load. So uh, not no big departures there. Uh, expansion on these was 85% uh, with the three pellet. That was a nice, uh, nice big wide, uh, mushroom on that one. That's close to where the uh, the Remington MZ ended up. 60% with a two pellet. That's quite a bit smaller than the Remington. And 4%, uh, we just got 4% uh, with the one pellet load. So uh, not, that was at 1,221 foot per second. So that's a fairly good velocity still to not be getting any expansion. Uh, penetration, 20.5 with three pellet, 30.5 with the two pellet, and 42 and three quarter inches with the single pellet load. Of course, zero expansion on that. And uh, so that, that makes a, a big difference in that as far as the, the penetration. When that nose doesn't open up and it stays nice, sharp, and pointed, it will penetrate farther. Uh, weight retention, 97.1 for the three pellet, 98.2 for the two pellet, and 99.8. Uh, for the three pellet. I'm guessing that uh, six tenths of a grain was uh, was the tip on this. This does have a fairly small tip compared to a lot of the other bullets we were testing. So, uh, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, Smackdown Carnivore. And uh, there was a lot of bullets that got requested over the past year since I put up the first batch uh, last fall. And I think this is one of them. I, I tried to pick up a few of those bullets that uh, uh, 
that I could remember that, that people had requested. Uh, the TEZ was one of those and a couple of the other ones. So uh, any, any, any questions, uh, post those up in the comments. So would love to hear any feedback you guys have got on this. Um, the spreadsheet's coming up along with the range chart and uh, the range, the one pellet velocity and the two pellet velocities are highlighted on the range chart. Now the range chart is based off the three pellet velocity. So you'll be able to track down there and uh, at the highlighted areas, that's the yardage close and, and actually it's skewed by 10 feet. It's, it's 10 feet short. Uh, but that is the yardage that you would expect the, uh, the expansion that you saw with the two pellet and the one pellet loads. And I, I went into some detail on some previous videos on that. So if you've not seen that, uh, I kind of tried to explain, muddled my way through how, how this worked in my head. And, and hopefully you guys can see that as well. But, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, check out my, my link up here to my affiliate partners. And anytime you get a chance, if you can shop with those affiliate partners, that helps generate uh, some revenue that comes back to the page and helps cover costs. Uh, right now, between the affiliate marketing and the YouTube, I'm covering probably 55 or 60% of my cost uh, on the videos. Uh, and uh, still trying to pick up some more firearms to do other calibers. Uh, I, I'm really wanting to get into a, a 45 Colt series here uh, in, the, in the late winter, spring, when I can get rolled into it. And I'm still uh, in the market for a short barrel 10 millimeter. I've got a 4.6, a six inch. Uh, I have a Mechtech Systems Upper uh, that Mechtech is sending to me to demo and do reviews on and do some publicity work with. Uh, that will fit on top of one of my Glock uh, lowers. And, uh, uh, and I'm still trying to find a short barrel 10 millimeter to include in those tests or a mid length, something between six and 16. So uh, uh, trying to add those in uh, to be able to reproduce the, the same test format with multiple barrel ends. If I only get two or three barrels, then that's what it is. But uh, if possible, I like doing the multiple barrel ends because then that range chart comes in effect and we can see, uh, we can get a good visual representation of what the expansion on these bullets are as the velocity decreases. Uh, so. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And Matt from Kentucky Range Time, we'll catch you on the next one.